I will say that these three quick tips are probably the most important. First, make sure that you have finished Big's campaign in the story mode. Second, make sure that you have all of his upgrades for his items. And third, make sure that depending on which level you do, these are the fish that you're trying to catch. Had I followed these tips myself, I would have literally saved five weeks of my time trying to complete Twinkle Park level A emblem. If you are watching this video, then that means you are currently struggling through Big the Cat's story mode or trying to 100% his emblems in Sonic Adventures. Don't worry, after doing this myself, I know just how frustrating it can be, and so hopefully my 10 tips here in this video will help you out. So tip 1, make sure that you already finished Big the Cat's story campaign. That way, you already have access to every single area, and overall, we'll just be on the same page here once you have that finished. Tip number 2, collect the remaining item upgrades for Big the Cat. The first upgrade is the Life Belt. If you finish Big Story, then you already have the Life Belt, as it appears right before entering the Ice Cap level for the first time. It's a giant green floating tube that Big will wear on him at all times. You can't miss it. And the second one is the Power Rod. Make sure that you are visiting the Mystic Ruins and entering the jungle area. Then open your map and visit Big's house as it is marked here. Move his bed over to the side and underneath there should be a yellow striped rod with a green fishing reel. That is the Power Rod. Tip number 3. Make sure that you collect all four of the lure upgrades. These are extremely important and I cannot stress that enough. You have to do this if you want certain fish to appear in specific levels. Without it, it's basically impossible and you are just wasting your time. Lure number one will be in Station Square. Go past the Twinkle Park elevator and into the sewers down here. I had a character mod turned on, so when I was trying to do this, it caused my game not to register that I was getting the lure and it actually crashed instead. If you are having similar issues, then just turning the mod off is what worked for me. Lure number two is in the Mystic Ruins jungle area. So just go back to Station Square and take the train all the way to Mystic Ruins. Then make your way over to this guy, take the minecart, and you're in the jungle. Now open the map and get to this part of the jungle. There should be a cave here with the second lure upgrade hidden inside. Lure number three is in the ice cap level. If you don't remember where that is, then just exit the jungle and return to the Mystic Ruins, then enter this cave here and you'll be in the ice cap zone. Once you're in there, break the ice over here and go underwater. Swimming through this little hallway, turn left and there should be a spring right there. Jump on it and you'll be on top of the ice platform. Now look around until you see these spikes. Go over to them and jump over onto the springs to the left. You'll make your way up to the second ice platform Walk up a little bit, break the ice in front of you, and go underwater again. This time all the way to the bottom. Make your way past the giant bones, and the third lure upgrade should be right next to the skull here. The game should also automatically save after each upgrade, so instead of having to walk all the way back to Mystic Ruins, you can easily quit the level and your progress will not be erased. Lure number 4 is in the prison area of Eggman's airship, the Egg Carrier, which can be accessed in two ways. First is by going back to Mystic Ruins and just entering the boat dock here. You should find a little boat and make your way over there. Or if you are in Station Square, walk down to the beach area here and jump onto the boat itself. Now find a way inside the egg carrier. You can either walk all the way to the top here and go down this platform or just push one of these buttons and a little trolley car should appear instead. Once inside, walk to these three doors and push the switch here to open the right door. Walk straight past this room and you will now see the fourth lure in the first prison cell. Just push the switch to open it and congratulations, you have all of the upgrades for Big the Cat. Tip number four, double check that you actually do have all of the upgrades for Big the Cat. So number one, is Big wearing the green life belt? Number two, is Big holding the green reel yellow striped fishing power rod? Number three, is the color of the lure at the end of the fishing rod orange? If you said yes to all three and your character looks exactly like mine here, then congratulations, you are ready to go fishing for the emblems for Big the Cat. So good luck. Tip number five, try to hunt down these fish and you'll be guaranteed to grab one that is over 2,000 grams. In Twinkle Park, 
the metal robot fish are the only 2000 gram fish that I was able to catch in this level. I basically spent 5 weeks stuck on this level thinking my game was glitched only to realize that I missed a lure upgrade. In Ice Cap, it's either the robot fish or the pink sharks. I found that some of these were found in the first breakable ice area, but if you don't see them here, then just walk over to the other ice area and try again or restart your level. In Emerald Coast, I would recommend just going for the pink shark as that was the one that I found that was over 2000 grams. This one you probably shouldn't have much trouble with as there's a lot of fish to look for here and a lot of water for them to swim around. In Hot Shelter, it's either the gray or pink sharks in the first circle area. As the moment you raise the water, it makes it much harder to catch these fish because they are always moving around and your lure might not always reach them in time. Even then, it would have been really cool to try and catch this robot fish, but whenever I went to that area, I was never able to find it. I would also recommend just jumping into the water and seeing if the length of the fish is larger than Big's torso. If it is, then you pretty much have a 2000 gram fish right there. Tip number 6, the fish do not stack. Catch each one individually for the emblems to count. So in other words, catching multiple fish until the weight counter up here shows that you have collected over 2000 grams will not give you the level A emblem. This number is basically the total amount of fish that you caught, so it does not matter here at all. It is important that you catch the fish and watch what their individual weight is on the right of the screen instead. Over 1000 grams will give you a level B emblem and fish over 2000 grams will give you a level A emblem. Tip 7, when catching the fish or froggy, press down on your controller right as they grab the lure. So basically just wait for the fish to grab the lure and immediately press down. If you do this correctly, then this will make sure that you get the hit every single time. Without this tip, it's basically like a guessing game, making it much more frustrating and tedious than it has to be. Tip 8, be careful of having your fishing line snap and getting a game over. So if the real meter reaches red, you'll hear a warning beeping sound like this. When that happens, let go of the action button for a few seconds until it cools down and then try to reel the fish in again. Just be careful though because if the meter does reach red, then the fish will get away, the lure will snap and you do in fact lose life when that happens. The last thing you want is to catch a 2000 gram fish only to lose it because you went to zero lives and getting a game over. Sometimes the fish just do their own thing so it really helps to also spam either left or right on your controller to nudge the fish in a different direction and hopefully swim closer to big the cat. Tip number 9, pressing both of the back buttons will save you time when trying to bring back the lure. So in other words, if you threw your lure into the water and it's at a bad position, normally you have to wait for the lure to come back to big the cat wasting quite a lot of time. Instead, press the both back buttons and it should immediately just come right back to him as if you like reset the entire throw. However, this only works as long as no fish or froggy are caught onto the lure itself. So just keep that in mind. And tip number 10, pretty much just be patient with Big the Cat, right? Like his controls are bootleg, the entire fishing thing is hogwash. Some of these 2000 gram fish are close to impossible to find and most of the time they kind of just have a mind of their own right if you follow these tips on you know my guide here then you're guaranteed to catch the fish just like i did and so hopefully this video helps everyone out there so you don't miss any of the upgrades so you can catch the right fish you know exactly where they are and you can finally 100 percent sonic adventures just like i'm trying to do on this stream 